So we're told that uh, in a certain business, the production index P is directly proportional to efficiency index E. So what that means is it's equal to some constant K. I'm just going to call that. It's a fixed number. And that's the meaning of directly proportional. So if you double the efficiency, the production index doubles, so on and so forth. And we're then also told that the efficiency index is then in turn directly proportional to investment index. So I'm going to call it M, the proportional, the, 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 the constant of proportion to be M, and I is the investment index. Question is, what is the value of P when I is 70? So statement one says E is equal to 0.5 whenever I is equal to 60. So we have this relationship. So I know what M is, this constant proportionality, which means I can find the efficiency index at other um, other uh, values of uh, investment. For example, I know M is 0.5 over 60, and I can replace that here. And I can find the efficiency index when I is 70. I can replace I with 70, so E would be... So you don't have to necessarily do this these steps. It's just, just showing you to, to clearly show you that yes, I can find the um, the efficiency index when the investment index is seventy, but I still don't know what the uh, the the va the production index is because I don't know this relationship here what k is. So one alone is insufficient. Two says p is two point zero whenever i is fifty. So here we have these P is K times E and E is M times I. So what that, if I replace E in terms of I, what I'm going to get is P is K times M, some number times I, which in other words means that the production index is directly proportional to the investment index. And so if I know P when I is 50, I can also find P when I is 70. Uh, so if... You can also think in terms of ratios. So if when P is 2, because if I rewrite it, P over I is Km, which is some constant. So if I know P uh, when I is 50, so this is P, this is I here, then that's equal to the P that I need when I is 70. And so if this relationship would tell me what the production index would be when I is 70. So 2 alone is sufficient, and the answer is B.